How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the podcast, Everything Everywhere. I'm Mike, episode number 20. And I'm joined by a very special guest today. My boy since freaking middle school, what, seventh grade? Yeah, seventh grade. Seventh grade, man. And now we're, oh, we're close 21. But I'll let you introduce yourself first. Yeah, my name's Cole. I've been a Will's friend uh, for almost 10 years now. Crazy, dude. It's been, it's been, a, it's been crazy. Yeah, I mean, probably like, I don't have a friend longer than that, dude. Yeah, same. There's no way. There's just no way. <laughs> it's crazy, man. The thing I had here lifted was called um, this segment, Journey Through Time. Um, and basically, I said to reflect on key milestones and shared memories over the years. Explore how both of you have evolved individually and together. I mean, I feel like a lot of, I'll start, like a lot of people, we changed a lot, man. Oh, like, it's changed we so were much. menaces in like middle school, early high school, and then like late high school, we kind of matured, I'd say. And then, yeah. Well, when we first met, nah, dude, it was different. But I'll tell you guys the story of how I met Cole. I was actually in this like wood shop class in seventh grade. I like went up to him and I had known somebody that he, like a good friend of his, who was like his longtime friend at the time. And then, like, yeah, dude, I don't even know. <laughs> and we also, like, learned that, like, your locker was, like, right n- near mine. Oh it was, was it? like, four lockers over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. I think you were the first, like, person from, like, like first person I really met in, like, right. middle school. I just remember. But, dude, our freaking woodshop teacher was a hard. <laughs> he, was, he, he had, like, three fingers gone. <laughs> Well, he knew you previously, right? He had one of yeah, he had he had all of my brothers, and yeah, so he, he said to Cole. my he said to my parents that like he didn't <laughs> think he would have me, and then he's just you're still there. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> dude, I remember like going outside for that class for whatever we to do. Middle school was an interesting time. I, I didn't like middle school at all. It was um, terrible. Did we have any other class? Um. Maybe eighth grade because we were on the same team. So we guys, had our- English in eighth grade. Oh, with uh, Elliot, bro, he was <laughs> crazy. Was like- <laughs> Didn't guys, he like get canceled or something? Yeah, he got canceled. <laughs> but like, cancel culture wasn't really a thing then. But like, he can no, work- he got he canceled him on his own. Like, our no, he- canceled- I think he got like actually canceled like after we like left. Yeah, dude. dude, it makes he- sense. He was unhinged, bro. Because he said some crazy shit. Yeah, we probably won't say it in the pop. Just know it was. It, like, was bad. it was reasonable enough to get canceled. Like in his class, I remember not really liking it. Oh, but it was so we we're on the same team. Next topic: friendship uh, chronicles. Dive into uh, amusing or significant stories from your long-lasting friendship. Provide listeners a glimpse. And yo, yeah, we have a lot. I mean, we Where, can start, start like a story about how like our friend group first started. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! That's like the Apple. You want to run that one? Run that. Well. All right, so we're at Applebee's on one fine, fine night, and um, so like we we were leaving, we you know we like paid, we tipped, we did whatever, yep. and then like these like old men, like these like grown men, want to be mobster national. Yeah, they like want to be just like they just like walked up to us and started screaming at us, wanting to like fight us, and we were like sixteen, seven, like it's like young. You guys are all freshly like getting your license. Yeah. And he's just wanting to fight, and they're just like screaming at us. Poor hell, and like we didn't know none of us drank at the time, so we didn't like understand that dynamic totally. Like we did, but like not that it would like make them act in that kind of way. But they were so aggressive towards like sixteen year olds, dude. dude, Freakiest! Like I've never (laughs) seen anybody like that. Uh, Dude, we lived in that area for our whole lives. I've never seen anybody as worse as that. No, I've never seen anybody crazy like that. I've just seen some interesting people, but nothing like crazy. Like assholes that they were, bro. Like God, yeah. No, that was a that was a kind of how it formed. Like, and that was a good one. I'm trying to think of some other ones. I mean, this one was way pre when we got yelled at the Dollar Tree. That was like before high school. Bro, that's that like classic. Cool. Yeah, dude, that one was huge. Like, basically, we were recording. We, we did a lot of YouTube, especially Cole, which he'll plug at the end of this. We'll get into that, but. Yeah, we were like just we've been here doing YouTube the longest time. And when I mean we, like I would help be in Cole's videos and stuff. And we recorded a video of just us messing around at Dollar Tree. We started like throwing throwing like stuff across the aisle and Cole had, or me or Cole, I don't know who it was, thrown something. And it might have like hit or like landed near this lady. She came and she's like, What are you throwing shit for? She we got it on so video bad. too, right? Dude. <laughs> 
We yeah, we re booked it out of there. We devved. <laughs> because I was, she's gonna probably call. She's the type of woman to like call the police. Didn't she like almost hit us with her like car when she left? <laughs> yeah, we were like waiting because guys, we were in middle school, we didn't drive, so we were waiting for someone to pick us up, and like we almost got hit by her. And like, dude, that was a crazy day. Wasn't that then, after the movies? Was it after or before? It must have been after if we were yeah. waiting for a ride. Because AM- there's a theater, a dollar store, like right there in this plaza. Mm. Still there. Um, we didn't study, and there's just also another teacher in the room. She kind of thought she was the boss on the stage. Like she thought she was like, she was just crazy. She was unhinged, to be honest. Like, we probably one of the most unhinged teachers I've ever seen, especially in the context of the time we're in. Just, what's going on in schools? This was crazy. Um, and. These two kids are talking over her. She's trying to make an announcement. And she's getting a little riled up because they're the type of kids in the row just, like, not listening to, to Miss H and Miss M. So Miss H decides to get kind of pissed because they kept talking. And Miss H goes, something on the, along the words of, if you guys talk over me again, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> and dude, I started dying I, laughing. Indeed, I was like, oh, no. Cole and I, bro, that was probably the most entertaining moment in that whole high school. It probably made my month. Not because it's it's not cool that she threatened them, but just how I did not see that coming. A teacher threatened the whole to shoot students. <laughs> that's the time, like, that's the one time Miss M was outside of the classroom. That's what I'm saying. Oh, she doesn't even know about it. I think the two kids didn't say anything, which, like, respect. They were scared. Get, they could have got her fired, bro. Like, bro. I thought she was going to get fired that day. Bro, I wonder if she's still there. That's what I'm saying, but imagine Miss M, or we'll just say Miss Madden, shout out, Miss Madden's reaction to that. (laughs) What'd you just say to them? Yes, like, you couldn't really do anything. You were free. See, with our school, is our school was, like, good academic-wise. Great, yeah. So they would care mainly about grades and, like, nothing else, yeah. So, like, there wasn't any, like, you see high schools having fun and stuff, like, there's no fun. There's no fun. They... Because New Hampshire doesn't have the best school system, so we were the top school public school in the state. So the, yeah. they obviously wanted to protect that image, but it's to the point where it's like, Jesus, like, dude, like, this is getting bad. It's different when it's like fun or like that, but like mm-hmm. straight academics and nothing else. It's exactly. just like a lot, especially in high school. I think it was just high school. Like, high school was crazy. Went through high school. Friendship. Yeah, man. Like, we definitely got closer the last two years. Cause, I mean, obviously, like, I would drive to a lot, and we would go to, like, Don- there's a Dunkin' Donuts, like, three minutes from our school, and one time, like, we dipped out early to go to Dunks after lunch. For, like, oh, I had to sneak out. Yeah, so we would have the same lunch. Lunch is great, dude. It's just, we'd all have, it's just the funniest time. And then me and Cole were like, all right, I have one more class after lunch. I'm like, Cole, and then I have that off period. I'm going to get you, meet me in the car. Dude, we went on a whole mission to get you out, and it worked. <laughs> We were scared, like, Miss Magda was going to come running after oh. us. <laughs> Pops in her own car. Yeah, bro. It's like a flag football team. Oh, my God. God, that was controversial. That was terrible. Like, no, I mean, it, it was fun. It was, it was fun for bonding, fun. but it was just not We just right got league. smoked every like, time. If we would have gone to a league with just all kids our age. It would have been so much oh, more yeah. relaxed. Like, just or just, like, fun. grown men. But we were going against, like, kids were probably two three grades below us and they were just yeah. like this was their main sport they were flag so football. small like, this is their main sport they don't do anything else they just play flag football all day, and that's kind of embarrassing it was it was tough like we, we almost won our like first game in the playoffs so. yeah cause, yeah yeah we did good and it was like me and jackson who've never played football in our life you played football in your life before um dom's played football in his life zach's played football in his life and talk to him, maybe I don't know no, yeah, I don't remember what I was going to say. But, yeah, that was huge. And then the Wendy's trips, man. Oh, Wendy's, man. They always seem to mess up our gut. <laughs> yeah, so me and Cole, like, late night after a hangout, we go to Wendy's. We just go to the drive through just chill, drive around, and get, get some cheap Wendy's. This was probably, like, before the prices went up, too. And, well, actually, maybe it was not really. But, anyways, every time we gone, or went, sorry, some weird stuff would happen. Every you remember that time. guy that was, like, talking to that old lady about, Dude, yeah. like, some weird stuff so, for, like, 40 yeah. minutes? So we would go closing out, and it's somehow there was no one there, really, and we would still take so long, as if it was, just, like, a busy line. And we realized the reason why it was taking so long, because this guy was just having a 30-minute conversation with this lady. She's probably like, get this kid away from me. 
And then we finally went up and he started asking me us these questions. I just, I did not know what he was asking. I don't me. even remember what he they were. He was speaking English. I was not, I couldn't understand what he was saying. But what he was trying to ask, I was just like, dude, what? Record. Or those time that that lady thought her car was being broken into. Yeah, yeah, that and woman they dropped our nuggets on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that woman we've seen like once or twice, and she just really didn't give a crap. Like you can tell, she just wanted to get out of there for the longest day. And she's like, "Yeah, my car. I think my car got jacked. Sorry, guys, you gotta wait." And then she came back. Oh yeah, we dropped your nuggets. Wait. Then they gave us extra food, and I was like, "All right." Yeah, you remember when they gave us like a, like a literal like extra like food like i yeah, think it was someone yeah. else's meal <laughs> like, they really did they would do this twice at two different white yeah. locations because your mom's old place yeah where we were in uh merrimack right no in, in milford milford and somehow at two different opposite wendy's not even that close to each other somehow just i, don't know, I was like dude what the frick? like it's just like a curse <laughs> it's bad man and remember the janitor bro he like kind of like hates us Bro, he was, like, looking at us all weird. No, dude, he, like, doesn't really like us. But one time we were sitting in the booth, he, like, took the mop and went right clean the <laughs> while we were sitting, bro. And I felt bad. I was like, dude, you don't got to clean that. You're not getting paid enough for that, bro. Like, I felt bad. I want to tip him. Dude, but, like, while we're us. there, like, why Like why don't you just wait until yeah, we he leave? He just smugs us, bro. I think he's, like, recognized us multiple times. There's a couple people at that Wendy's that recognize us. <laughs> Yeah, don't underage drink. <laughs> yeah, the guys, especially with the youth that's watching this podcast. I, I see my numbers. There's some young kids who watch this podcast. Wait till you're 18. Or... <laughs> no, wait until you're 21. 21. Sorry, I forgot we're not in another country. It's different, though. The principal, like, all that uh, stuff teachers, is just different. Dude, it's probably all the teachers that we know and love. Are probably and it's like we only graduated, like, not even three years ago. That's kind of so, yeah. And everything is different. It's crazy. No, yeah. It was like a thing that once our grade graduated, the school was going to fall off. That's, That's what probably what thinking. everybody was thinking. Like, <laughs> Even like the, the freshmen. Like, everyone was thinking that. Like, it, and it did. All the you teachers know. probably were talking. It's like, all right, after this class, we're getting the hell out of here. Yeah. Guys, our senior week was consisted of literally jack shit. What was our... Like, I can't even think of our senior week. Breakfast is disgusting, freaking worse than any restaurant oh, I've ever had. Food. I never went to that. Me either. I slept in. And then gr- practice for graduation. When do you practice? Bro, that what do you practice, practice shit for? was bad. You know how like long it said on the schedule? And it yeah. was like 10 to 15 minutes. And we're just wasting our time it's like practicing. Two hours. Yeah, like it was like two and hours, and we're just. And then it Everyone takes like fifteen minutes, pissed. and then we go home. 